Hello Russian learners, I'm Anastasia and today's lesson will be devoted to the difference between the unchanging это in Russian and its demonstrative counterparts, the pronouns этот, это, это, and эти. So in the first part of the video, I will tell you about the difference, so we will look at the actual difference between this and these. In the second part, I will show you the real-life situations when we use this and these in combination with adjectives. So, when we say это интересный фильм and when we say этот фильм интересный. This is very important and causes the biggest confusion among learners, so don't miss this part. And in the third part, we are going to learn some situational phrases with the demonstrative pronouns этот, это, это and эти. And you'll be able to use these phrases to express your emotions or opinion about something. So watch till the end, it will be an interesting lesson. Let's get started. Unchanging это is translated into English as two words. This is or these are. Whereas demonstrative pronouns are translated only as this or only as these. So here we have this is these are, and here only this or these. Let's first look at the unchanging это. We use it for introduction or definition of something. For example, знакомьтесь, это пол. So here we have this is included in one word, это. Это пол. This is пол. Это мои друзья. Here we have a noun in plural. And we say in English, these are or they are my friends. But in Russian, again, it's just one word, это. So, это мои друзья. Next one. Посмотрим фильм. Какой? Видок. Это комедия? Нет, это триллер. So, here we have a definition of this film. This person suggests that it's a comedy. Это комедия? Нет, это триллер. This is a thriller. Here, pay attention that комедия is feminine and триллер is masculine. But это doesn't agree with the gender of the noun. That is why it's called the unchanging это. So when it means this is or these are, it never changes its form. Also, in the question, in English, you will change, so you will switch these words around. Is this comedy? But in Russian, since both are included in one word, we just say это. Это комедия? And we raise our intonation to make it sound like a question. Нет, это триллер. So the intonation goes down in the answer. Next one, любовь. Это чувство. So here we have a definition. When we define something, we use это and we put a little hyphen before it. In English, it's just the verb to be here. Love is a feeling. But in Russian, when it's a definition, we use the unchanging это. Now let's move to the demonstrative pronouns этот, это, это, and эти. Now let me move here. So. As I said before, these words just mean this or these, and they agree with the gender of the noun that follows. For example, this glass, этот бокал, бокал is masculine, этот is also masculine, это футболка, футболка is feminine, а, so это is also feminine, это Платье. Платье is neutral and это is also neutral. Now, don't confuse this and this. So, here it's a demonstrative pronoun that means this, this dress. Here it's an unchanging это. So, they have the same, the same spelling, the same pronunciation, but actually they are different words. Also, это and это sound the same. But here, you remember, it's the unstressed O, that is why it sounds more like A, 
and here it's an actual a. It makes them sound the same. And plural form eighty sumki. Sumki bags is plural, so eighty takes the plural any. Now let's read the whole sentences. Я хочу поднять этот бокал за тебя. When you propose a toast and you raise your glass with the mineral water, you can say this phrase to your girlfriend, for example. I want to raise this glass for you. Сколько стоит эта футболка? How much is this t-shirt? So here I put the literal translation. This is how we say it in Russian. How much does it cost, literally? But basically it means how much is it? Сколько стоит эта футболка? So this particular t-shirt. Тебе очень идет это платье. So this dress, this particular dress, not the other one, this dress suits you very much. Убери, пожалуйста, эти сумки. So please take away these bags, plural form. Okay, very good. I hope you got the general idea. Now we are moving to the usage of these words and the unchanging это with adjectives. So what are the contexts in which we say это интересный фильм and этот фильм интересный? Let's look at the examples with the demonstrative pronouns first. So этот фильм means this film, this particular film. This particular film is interesting. For example, you've been looking for a film to watch on the internet. You've been looking for a film to watch with your girlfriend. And imagine you are sitting in front of the computer and you are looking through different movies with different titles. And you say, oh, этот фильм интересный. So this particular film is interesting. So here we have a number of items. And one particular item has some characteristic. In this case, it's Interesting, интересный, which is performed by the adjective. Interesting, интересный. So, you use the demonstrative pronoun here to separate a particular item from a list of similar items. Now, here we use the unchanging это, and we say это интересный фильм. Or you can add an adverb here, это очень интересный фильм. Now, remember that unchanging это is in charge of definition, right? It defines, it helps you to define or introduce something. So, we use it like this, unchanging это, adjective, noun, in the following context. When you were speaking about something and you refer back to this information that you said before, for example, Я люблю фантастику, особенно звездные войны. Это очень интересный фильм. So here this sentence, basically it could not be said by its own, on its own. It refers back to this information. Okay, uh, next example. Ты любишь сёмгу? Да. Это вкусная рыба. So here you define this noun, right? Сёмга, the basic form. Сёмгу, the accusative case or the object form. So you refer back to this noun, defining it. Let's look at this example. Эта рыба вкусная. Imagine that you are at the market or in a shop and you are buying fish and you are asking the salesperson, эта рыба вкусная, so you point at a particular fish and you ask, right? We can use it as a question. Эта рыба вкусная? Да, вкусная, they reply. So, again, you separate a particular item from a number of similar items. Another example. Будешь мороженое? Спасибо, не хочу. Попробуй. Это вкусное мороженое. Here we use the unchanged это, 
because we refer to something that was previously mentioned and we are giving a definition to it. Это вкусное мороженое. This is a delicious ice cream. We put more emphasis on the adjective, so on the actual definition of this ice cream. Это мороженое вкусное. We are saying here we put more emphasis on мороженое and we are saying this ice cream is delicious. So this particular brand of ice cream. Not that one, not the other one. This. Это мороженое вкусное. Такие у тебя духи. Шанель. Ого! Это очень дорогие духи. Again, это, I'm changing это, because we are giving a definition to this noun that was mentioned previously. Эти духи дорогие. This particular perfume is expensive, not that one. And here, remember, we agree the demonstrative pronoun with the noun. Духи is plural in Russian, эти is plural. Мороженое is neutral. Это is neutral. Here it's это and это. No change. I hope this is clear and we are moving to the third part of our lesson. Some handy phrases. Watch till the end. We use the demonstrative pronouns in exclamation sentences to express our feelings of some sort. For example, этот кризис никогда не закончится. So this crisis is never going to end. Well, I hope it is, but if you are tired of the crisis, of the atmosphere in the world, so you can use this sentence. So here we have crisis, the masculine noun, and этот, the demonstrative pronoun that agrees with the noun. Next one. Эта песня такая заводная. This song is so lively. Again. We emphasize this song, we make emphasis on it, and this helps you express your emotions about it. Это мороженое такое вкусное. Again, we are emphasizing the noun мороженое. This particular ice cream is so delicious. And the fourth example is actually the name of a popular cartoon or TV show. In Russian, in English, it's Regrets and in Russian, ох уж эти детки, which means kind of, ah, these children, these babies. So, here we have, uh, we not uh, only have a demonstrative pronoun, эти детки, but we have this phrase, ох уж, and you can use it with any, any noun of any gender and any demonstrative pronoun. So, you can say, ох уж этот кризис. So, in this, in this phrase, you express your negative emotions because it means that you are kind of uh, fed up with it or, I don't know, you want the situation to be better. So, I hope this lesson made things a bit clearer for you in regards to unchanging ETA and the demonstrative pronouns. And if it, if it did, if it made things clearer, please put your own comments, make your own sentences and put them in the comment section. And I will check them and see how well you understood this topic. And be sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell button not to miss new lessons. We are going to have a lot of interesting explanations about the Russian language in the future. So I'll see you in our next videos and let's achieve Russian proficiency together!